I'm Jessica Del Fiaco. I'm going to be reading Slaughterhouse Five. This is Chapter Two. Listen, Billy Pilgrim has come unstuck in time. Billy has gone to sleep, senile widower, and awakened on his wedding day. He has walked through a door in 1955 and come out another in 1941. He has gone back through that door to find himself in 1963. He has seen his birth and death many times, he says, and pays random visits to all the events in between. He says, Billy is spastic in time, has no control over where he is going next, and the trips aren't necessarily fun. He is in a constant state of stage fright, he says, because he never knows what part of his life he is going to have to act in next. Billy was born in 1922 in Ilium, New York, the only child of a barber there. He was a funny-looking child who became a funny-looking youth, tall and weak and shaped like a bottle of Coca-Cola. He graduated from Ilium High School in the upper third of his class and attended night sessions at the Ilium School of Optometry for one semester before being drafted for military service in the Second World War. His father died in a hunting accident during the war, so it goes. Billy saw service with the infantry in Europe and was taken prisoner by the Germans. After his honorable discharge from the army in 1945, Billy again enrolled in the Ilium School of Optometry. During his senior, senior year there, he became engaged to the daughter of the founder and the owner of the school, and then suffered a mild nervous collapse. 